Hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man, and today we are looking at a fishing card game by Griffin Games. Back in the year 2014, it's two to four players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. It's called Fleet. Now in this game, you are doing fishing expeditions for cod, lobster, shrimp, tuna, you name it. But in order to do so, you must purchase the license to catch that fish, then get yourself a boat, then get yourself a captain so you can go catch the fish. Very fascinating indeed. Let's head on over to the gaming table where I'm going to show you how to play Fleet. Alright, so here we are at the gaming table with Fleet. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go over the components, and I'll show you the setup, and I'll show you how to play. So first and foremost, you have the instruction booklet right here. You also have your first player marker, which is a little boat. You have these fish, which are represented by these little blue cubes that we have here. You also have the boating cards, the fishing license cards, and you also have four player aids. Well, it shows you the turn sequence, each turn per round, and there's some icons and stuff. Just in case you don't remember what the icons mean, they're on the back right here. Okay, let's go ahead and show you the setup here. We're going to go ahead and set these aside. All right, everyone's going to receive a player aid, and we're going to go ahead and do a three-player game, just so I can give you a little bit of an idea of how this works. We're going to go ahead and place these here, place the fishing licenses right here. And each player is going to receive one of each boat in their hand. The boats we have here are the King Crab, we have Processing Vessel, Cod, Tuna, Lobster, and Shrimp. Those are the six different boats that are in this game. Each player is going to receive one of each card, like so. I'll place them like this so you guys can see them nice and clear. All right. And, of course, each player would receive a player aid as well, which I'll go over step by step how this works. Obviously, the object of the game is you're trying to get the most points at the end of the game. And I'm, I'll, how to score, I'm going to show you that as we speak here. Now, to start off the game, I'm going to go ahead and be the first player here. And, and the amount of fish that you start off with depends on how many players you have. There are 100 cubes here. So, obviously, it's a two to four player game. So, there's 100 here. So, if you play with four players, all 100 you use. If you have a three player game like we have here, you would take 25 out of there and you'd play with 75. It's 25 fish per player. So if you have a two player, obviously you have 50 fish and so on. That's how you know how, how many to start off with, okay? Now, let's go ahead and put out the first three off, uh, uh, licenses that we're gonna be auctioning off. In the turn of sequence, we're gonna go to the very first thing where it says auction. Now in the auction phase, only one person can get one license per round, okay? so. If I win an auction in one license, I cannot go after a second one in that same auction, okay? So let's go ahead and you're going to place the, the number of players as the number of licenses you will put out. So obviously if we had a four-player game, you would put four licenses out. In this case, we have three. So we're going to go ahead and pull out three licenses. We have a shrimp, we have a lobster, and we have a cod. All right. Now you'll see in the left-hand corner you'll say the minimum cost. That is the amount that you're going to start off the bidding at, okay? Just like the lobster is a starting minimum bid of $5. And then you got the cod over here. The starting minimum cost is 4 First player gets to choose which one of these licenses go up for auction. Let's just say he wants to go after the shrimp. I say, okay, $4. And then the second player, let's just say... The second player says, I want to pay $5. Well, King Crab guy over here, the third player says, nah, I don't want it. First player says, nah, I don't want it. So this player ends up getting the shrimp um, license. Now, this gives you a license to uh, use your shrimp boat. Each one of these has a boat in here. If you remember, there was a shrimp boat, a lobster boat, and a cod boat. So this gives them a license to be able to launch a boat with shrimp. Okay, so this is going to... He wants to pay the four, uh, $5. I'm sorry, he paid $5 for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these cards that you have in your hand, and you see these gold coins down here. This is your currency in the game. These cards work for three different things, and we're going over the first one right now. 
here are the coins right here. So what he wants to do is he needs to spend five of these coins. So you've got two coins here, two coins here. Tuna's worth three coins, one coin, two coins. So he's going to pay five of these coins. Now, there might be a time where you might have to pay more because you do not get change. So say, you, you know, it cost you $4 and all you had was a three and a two. Well, guess what? You're going to be paying five bucks for it. So you want to really try to manage your cards real well the best that you can. So he paid five dollars for the shrimp. So he's going to go ahead. Obviously, he wants to keep his shrimp card, obviously, because that's the boat that he's going to use with the license. So what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and use the, uh, let's see, let's go the tuna and the processing vessel. These two equal five dollars. See, the one has three and the one has two. He's going to put that face down over here. And now he has bought himself a shrimp license. So he's going to put that right in front of player two here. Okay. And that is it for his turn. Obviously, you have these face down because you don't want to, if no one sees your cards. I'm just doing it this way so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay. So now he has a shrimp license. So now player three is going to go ahead and decide, okay, I'm going to go for the cod. My minimum bid is $4. Let's just say, I say, you know what? Nah. You go ahead and take it. He goes ahead and he's going to go ahead and pay the $4 for the COD. So obviously I want to keep my COD card, okay? And let's just say I pay with the lobster and I pay with a processing vessel, okay? So those are my two. You can see down here it's $4. He just paid for the $4. And now he is a COD license. Now you'll see on the right-hand side the victory points. So for the shrimp vessel, I got four victory points for getting a shrimp license. Same with him. He got four points for getting this cod license right here. VP, victory points. Here we go. Okay. Now I have the lobster remaining. Let's just say, you know what? Let's do it. I want the lobster. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lobster. All right. Let's go ahead and bring this down just a little bit more so you can see the cards down here. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pay five for the lobster. So I'm going to go ahead and pay the tuna and the shrimp. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pay. Here's my $5 for the lobster. All right, there it is. Put it face down over here in the discard pile. And now I have a lobster license. And I get three points for the lobster license right here. Okay. So that's what we do in that round. Okay, that is the, that's all you do in that round. Now, the next one is launching a boat. That is the next step, launching a boat. In this case, if you want to launch your boat, it's going to be in the upper right hand, uh, left hand corner. It says cost. This is how much it's going to cost you to launch your boat. So, for instance, for me, the lobster, it's going to cost me $2, as you see right here, to launch this boat. If I want to do that, I'm going to, I'll go ahead and I'll just use the processing vessel. I'm just going to show you how we do this. So there's the $2 there. I have just now launched my lobster boat. And I also got, right up here, two victory points for launching the lobster boat. So here we go. So here's my lobster right here. Bam! Okay, there we go. Now, let's see. Does he want to launch his shrimp boat? His shrimp boat, let's see if we can find a shrimp, only costs one coin. Right here, the cost is one coin. So, of course, he's going to go ahead and launch it. He's going to go ahead and use his cod. It's only $1 here. And he got himself a shrimp boat. I'm going to put these this way. That way we don't mix these up here. Okay, there we go. All right, so now he's got his shrimp boat launched. Now we got the third player over here. Does he want to launch his cod boat? He's, <coughs> he's going to look at his cod card. It's going to cost him two gold coins to launch his cod boat. Does he want to do that? Let's just say he does. He has a shrimp card right here with $2 on it. He's going to go ahead, pay that, and look at that. All three of us have launched a boat. And like I said, he gets two points right there for launching that boat. So you can see there's points all over the place here. You get points for licenses, points for, <laughs> for uh, uh, launching your boats, and so on. There's other ways to score, too, and I'll show that to you in a minute. So now, after everyone's launched their boat, the next step is hire a captain. Because you need to captain the boat in order to get your fish. Duh. So what you do here is you have to just sacrifice any one of your cards to get a captain. Do I want to do that? Well, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and hold off because right now I only have two coins right now for the next auction. That doesn't leave me much. Okay. 
Let's say he's going to say, you know what? I'm going to do it. So what he's going to do is he's going to take his king crab card and he's going to flip it upside down. This turns into a captain. So what you can do is you can put it on top or bottom. I'd rather put it on the bottom. That way you can kind of see what the boat it is. And just like that, you have a captain boat. So you can tell these cards work in three different ways. They work as currency. They work as launching your boat. And they work for the captain. Okay, so there's three different card, uh, three different things you use for this card. And it also tells you your point value and how much it costs to launch it. Let's see, does he want to use one of his cards? He says, yeah, you know what, I'll go ahead and use my King Crab card. I'm going to go ahead and flip this under. And just like that, he's got a captain. All right. So now we're done with the captain phase. Now the next phase here, it says fish. Now you see here it says one per captain boat. The maximum of four fish per boat. So in this case, what you're going to do is now you're fishing. Now this is the fishing stage. I am not fishing over here in my lobster because I do not have a captain. You can only gather fish if you have a captain of the boat. This player does. He gets one fish. This person has a captain. He gets one fish. All right. And for right now, that's all you can do with that. That's all you're able to do with that right now. Okay. Because in order for you to process the fish, you must have, guess what? The processing vessel license, which we'll go over that next. So in this next step here, where it says process and trade, we can't do that right now because no one has a processing vessel license. So you have to hold off on that. The last step you do is you're gonna draw two cards, two of these fishing cards. You're gonna keep one and discard the other. So I'm gonna go ahead and look on here. I have king crab and processing vessel. I'm going to go ahead and take this because this has two. This only has one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Next player. Player two is going to look at the... Oh, we got a tuna and a shrimp. But look at that. Might have three here, but he has two here. But man, oh, decisions, decisions. But he only has one card with two. So he's probably have to take the tuna on this one. That way he has five to play with. And then this one goes back on the card. And this player, lobster and cod. Well, he's got a cod boat over there. He could probably do that. He has one card with three on there. He's going to go ahead and take... Uh, eh, let's take the lobster because he needs some He needs some bargaining power here. So he's going to go ahead and take that and do that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we've got the second round. We've got a processing vessel. Dun, dun, dun. We were just talking about that. Tuna and tuna. So we have two tunas and a processing vessel. Now let's, I'm going to go ahead and show you, obviously you know the auctioning, how that works. You use the dollar coins on the bottom and so on. All right. Now, for the processing vessel, let's go ahead and say that I went ahead and purchased the processing vessel here. So now I have this license here. Minimum cost is five. I get three victory points for getting the processing vessel. Okay. Once I have a processing vessel license, I do not have to have a boat per se. As long as I have the license, I am able to process or trade. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how that works. So, let's just say we did our round, blah, blah, blah. Let's just say I captained this boat, okay? Let's say that the this person over here, he only has a shrimp boat. And let's just say he went ahead and uh, no, no one else did anything else. Let's just say he got the tuna license and he got the other tuna license. Let's just say that. Let's say he went ahead and got a tuna boat here, and he went ahead and used this to captain it. We'll just, we'll just, you know, speed this up a little bit, okay? And then that's it for that. All right. So now you come to the fishing aspect of it now. I would get one. He would get one. This would get one, because now that's captained. And this ship would get one. Now, these two players cannot do anything with their cubes. Now, each boat has a maximum of four fish that they can hold. Okay. For me, I have one fish in my boat. I can choose to either process it or trade it. What I do is I can put this over here. All right. And what happens is if I want to process it, then what happens is I can um, get a card for processing it. So I can actually get this and I can actually process it for a card in my hand. Okay. Or I can leave it here. All right. And I can use that uh, money wise. This can actually be 
process, or you, when you do is you process it here, and the processing means that, that you, you process the fish, and now it's worth a dollar. Each one of these you have up here are worth one dollar, or one gold coin, okay? So later on, if I only have two here, like I have here, I have one here, that would make it three. Okay, so that's cool about that part. But you have to have a processing vessel license in order to do it. Like I said, you don't need a boat, because I don't have a boat. I don't have the processing vessel boat. The boats are in here, but I don't have, as long as you have the license, you can do that. Or I can trade this for a card. Okay, that's how that works, okay? So that's how the processing works there. All right. And then, of course, you would draw two, keep one. So that's that. And then, you, of course, you would continue on to the next one and so on. Now, these, we have a couple higher end that you would put towards the bottom of the stack. Here's the king crab. The king crab, is the minimum cost is 10. And you get five victory points for this one. Okay. So these, these king crabs are, are pretty big. These are towards the end of the game. You also have the fisherman's pub. Now, this doesn't really allow you to do anything. All it does is it costs you 10 to get 10 victory points. That's all this does. So if this comes up and you get the $10, excuse me, if you get the $10, then you get 10 victory points. That's it. That's all it is. Now, next I'm going to go over what these, what are these, all these things on the bottom of each one of these. Well, let's take a look and see, okay? I'm going to go ahead and show you what these mean, okay? On the processing vessel, as you see here, if I have one processing vessel license, for every blue cube or blue fish that I have on that card, I can draw a card, okay, a fishing card, okay? If I have two licenses, two of these processing vessel licenses, I get, and if I have, for each cube, I get two cards. If I have three processing vessels or licenses, okay, for each cube, I get three and four is four and so on. Now, when, you, when I trade, players may use processed crates of fish as cash. So that's what I was just saying. One cube is one gold coin. That's what I was saying there. I hope, I don't, hope you can see that. Okay. That's what those little icons mean on the bottom of this one. Let's look at the lobster. The lobster, you can see the little icons down here with the wheel. Obviously, that means captain. So if I have one lobster license... One lobster license, okay? And if I have one to three captains, I get one card. This is an extra card. This, this is just You just draw one card. When, you, when it comes to the fishing part of it, then you grab one card. This doesn't count the two at the very end, okay? If I have four plus captains, I get two cards. You see here, if I have two to four lobster licenses, if I have one to two captains, I get one. And three to six, I get two, and so on, okay? And if I have, you see, I have seven, I have, you get uh, three, I believe. Yeah. So that's the little icons down there. Now let's look at the shrimp license. This one is really, really wanted. This is a really good one to have. And let me go over it. Now you see right now, you see a bunch of gold coins down there. And you're like, what the heck's going on here? If you have one shrimp license, you get, it's one gold coin that is taken off it's like a discount. You get a discount of one gold coin. So when you're doing the auction phase, say you want an auction for five, you only pay four. If you have two of these shrimp licenses, you get a two gold coin discount. Three is three, four is four. So that's pretty cool right there. So every time you go to an auction, it's only going to cost you one or two or three or four less than what you bid on. So that is pretty powerful. The tuna, my favorite fish. The tuna boat, as you can see here, if you have one tuna license, you can grab two cards. If you have two tuna licenses, you get three cards and you discard one. If you have three licenses, you get three cards. And if you have four licenses, because obviously you see the max is four licenses, then you get four cards and then discard one. That is what that means on this one. Let's look at the cod license. Here's the cod license. For every time, if you have one cod license, and if you launch a boat, you get one card, and so on. If you have two licenses, and you launch a boat, for each boat you launch, you get two. Now, here is the launch bonus on this. Uh, if you have the cod license, you can actually launch two boats on one turn. 
because right now when you're going through your things you can only do launch one boat and do one captain that's it per turn so that one turn when you're going through but in this one you are able to they allow you to launch two boats on your turn so that's something that is pretty good as well especially if you have the, when you start getting these extra cards in your hand you can actually start launching multiple boats and that's if you have the cod license so a lot of these things you got to pay attention during the game okay what does this license do what does this license do okay so that's pretty darn cool same with this lobster one. I almost missed it. It says captain bonus. It's very, very small right here. It says players may hire two captains per round. So when you have the lobster license, there you go. It allows you to captain two because it's the way this card's all about captains. So yeah, so your player may hire two captains per round. Just like this one says you can do launch two boats on the same turn. Okay, let's look at... Where is it? The processing. Oh, I already did the processing vessel already. So we did all six. Uh, I believe I did all six. There's one missing in here. Which one did I not do? There's one I did not do. Hold on one second here. I think it's the king crab. Here we go. The king crab license. Some of these are different. Not all the king li uh, king crab licenses are the same. So you got it. Here we go. There's three different ones. Okay. There we go. I think there might be one. Is there one more in here? King crab, king crab. I think that's it, yeah. So it might be in here, actually. I know there's four. There's four. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope. Okay, that's it. Okay. So here are the king crab licenses. And the number of crates of fish. Now, these are called crates of fish. These aren't just fish. These are crates of fish, okay? Okay, so if you have, for every three crates of fish you have, you get one victory point to a maximum of ten. Okay, so that we want to keep in mind as well. So for every one you have, you get three victory points. Because if you keep the fish here on your boat, these do count as one point per crate, okay, at the end of the game. So I'll say some of these you didn't process, then you get one point for every fish that you have on there. So that's why you get that. This King Crab license, for every captain you have, you get one victory point. And for this King Crab license, for every, the number of different licenses re acquired. So if I had two different licenses, like for instance, this one, he has Cod and Tuna, he would get two victory points just for having two different types of licenses. Right here, we have three different kinds here. So I would get four victory points, as you see right there, and so on. Four different licenses, you get five, and so on, okay? Because there's only seven different kind of licenses, so there you go. So if you have all, one of each of all seven, you get 10 victory points for that. So the king crabs are different. So all three of those are different. So you want to want to keep an eye on those to make sure that uh, you get the right points. Okay. And like I said, the at the very end of the game, uh, what triggers it is when you run out of fish. Or let's just say we had, you know, uh, we're starting, you know, maybe two players got those and we only had maybe one card left here. And we didn't have enough to do all three players then that's what triggers the game as well and then you're going to start adding up your points and here come with the points here they come you're going to add the points on all the licenses you have you're going to double check down here to see if you get any bonus points for anything there you also get your points for launching each one of these boats you want to make sure you add up these as well all right and that's pretty much it the license these here these here and of course you're going to get one point for every crate that's on here all right and that my friends is fleet so let's head on over to the game room and i'll give you my final thoughts all right so my final thoughts on fleet what a wonderful game this is a great game to play i love the way the cards actually have three different ways to use them they use for your currency you're, they're used for your boats when you purchase the boats. And then you flip over a card to use it for a captain. So there's three different ways to use these cards. I absolutely love that. That is so great. There's no money or, you know, plastic money going around or anything like that. It's the cards. Everything is on the cards that you need. You got the fishing licenses, which are great. Then you purchase the fishing license in order to use that boat to send out. Then you got to get a captain to captain the boat to get the fish. Really love that, too. 
I love the little special things that they have on each one of the licenses on there. I mean, it's, it's really just a great, great game. Now, there is a sequel to this game that came out after this one, The Arctic Bounty. It's called Fleet Arctic Bounty. I do not have that one yet, but I have my radar set on it, so I'll be getting that one hopefully pretty soon. As soon as I find a copy, um, I'm going to get to me. But uh, as of right now, I just have the original Fleet right now, and I literally just got this this month. So, um, so I barely just got this game, read over it, and looked into it, watched a few videos on it, and just fell in love with it. And it was over at McKay's, of course, so I went ahead and I picked it up. I think I only got it for like maybe, I don't remember how much I purchased it for. Maybe 10 bucks, maybe 8 bucks, somewhere around there I got it for. And it was all complete, so I was very happy about that. Uh, the only thing with the little blue cubes, I mean, that'd be kind of cool if they had something else in those. Maybe some fish or, I don't know, something. I mean, instead of like blue blue clue, uh, blue cubes, if I can say that right. Um, but other than that, I think the game plays great. I like that once the fish is gone, that's it. End of game, which makes sense. I mean, as soon as the fish has all been fished out, well, that's it. Um, and also, of course, when the licenses, when there's no more available for each person to bid on in the auction, then the game ends as well. And, of course, you do take out some cards depending on how many players you have, which I don't think I said that in the tutorial. It does depend on how many players you have. You will take out a certain amount of cards out of that deck. And then the Arctic uh, Bounty, that actually has... Some of the same boats in it, but they introduced a couple other different boats. And, of course, some of them have different different abilities and whatnot that you can do in that game. So, so I'll be definitely getting that uh, as soon as I find one at a decent price. I'm going to add that to the collection as well. And as soon as I get that, I will add that to my collection. And I'll do an episode on it as well. Fleet, I would love to say, is on BGA. It is on Board Game Arena. I checked it last night and I saw it. It's in there. I have not played it on BGA yet. Um, but I plan on doing that probably very, very soon. So I was very happy to see that it's on there. So I can actually play that on there uh, with some good friends that I have on there. And uh, some, some of my subscribers have found me on there as well. And hopefully we will play some games together on there until maybe hopefully one day we can get together and play these games uh, together personally. That would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and give this game a thumbs up because this game is great. I absolutely love this game. Like I said, I love the functionality of the cards. I mean, it's all about the cards and how many things the cards do just makes it great. And I love the licenses and all the little special abilities you get, um, all that stuff. It's just an all around, just a great, fun game. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. That's my review on Fleet. As always, I appreciate your support at all times and happy fishing.